Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first one is by Exit the Donut. I've seen it with my own eyes. Women are very shallow. I'm short, ugly, and broke, so I don't date. But my good-looking friends get the hottest women and the most women. Gee, I wonder why. How many short, ugly, broke women have you asked out? Why would I do that? With that reply, beggar, I believed you answered your own question as well as their question. This next one is from Something Asian. Went to Walmart to get lunch meat and items for the week. As I went to pay, the lady in front of me didn't have enough money to pay for groceries. So I told the cashier I would pay her balance. The lady customer thanked me and asked if she could pick up some other items she needed since I was paying for them. I told her sorry that I was in a hurry and that was why I paid for her things and mine. She got mad at me and said, I see how you people are. I'd like to know what people the beggar's even referring to. What, someone who's generous who will buy you something but not everything? I mean, the fact that they stepped up and were willing to buy you anything should be good enough. This next one is by Cybot Zero. Could it just give me a gold? What? You gave me a silver. Why not just give a gold or more? Because it's just expensive? Why would I give a gold to you? Especially when you are this aggressive. What the fuck? Fuck you, selfish fucking bitch. I hope you die in a fire. You hope somebody dies in a fire because they gave you reddit silver and not gold or something more. Wow, your life must really be sad. This next one is from Zero Cookie. If it's for food, tell me your local grocery store and I'll email you a gift card. Send me the gift card! Wait, you actually need food? What's your local grocery store chain? I need just $50 Steam or iTunes card! Those aren't needs. Yes, I need it! I know it's gonna be tough to wrap your head around, beggar, but you don't need it. You want it. You don't need a Steam or iTunes gift card to survive. This next one is by Sud004. Yo, my guy, I did not scam you out of anything. My Instagram notifications are off, so it completely slipped my mind. And that's a terrible way to try to get your point across by humiliating me on Twitter. So strange how you responded perfectly to my messages every time when sending updates, but the moment you get them and I ask for payment and it becomes a terrible way to get my attention. <laughs> Since you want clout, get it in blood. And by the way, them emotes ass. I've been stopped using them. They look nothing like me. Looks like you just Google a black kid cartoon and made it an emote. I'm getting every penny worth. Thanks for being such a cunt, so I can make my Monday a bit more exciting. Just another case of a beggar expecting a service, but then expecting they don't have to pay for that service. In this case, I hope the artist ends up never sending stuff before they get payment again. This next one is from Neurodiverse Universe. So tonight, I was at here when I saw a long line outside. About 20 people. I asked an associate and found out they would be there all night waiting for a chance to get a PlayStation 5 when the store opened in the morning. I like to surprise people, so taking advantage of Black Friday prices, I bought a bunch of knit gloves, bottles of water, and individually wrapped pastries. I went down the line, giving each person what they asked for. Gloves, water, and snacks. I'm nearing the end of the line when someone from the front of the line taps me on the shoulder. They want to swap out their free gloves because they didn't like the color. Because of COVID, I wasn't going to do it, but another person offered to take the offensive red and black striped gloves and I gave the lady another pair, this time black and gray stripes. She complained she didn't like that color either. Choosing beggar much? Considering they were probably going to stand out there all night with no gloves, no snacks, no water, get stuff for free and still complains? Yeah, 
That's a choosing beggar. This next one is by RMKS8285. I attended the grand opening of the new Marietta, Georgia store this morning. Got there at 3 a.m. and was the third person in line. Kind of shitty, they gave everyone else after the first person a $5 gift card, to be honest. The second person and I got there around the same time and waited in 27 Fahrenheit degree weather for only $5? Really disappointed. If you were going there in hopes of getting something for free, then you were going for all the wrong reasons in the first place. This next one is from Moon Riveter. Thank you. Thank you to the person who paid for my drink at Starbucks in the drive-thru today. I paid for the person behind me then. Random acts of kindness is what we all need during this pandemic. Thank you for making my day. This sure is kind. Here's an alternative view. Are you paying it forward if you're doing it to people who can afford a Starbucks drink in a drive-thru? Seems like this kindness stays within a band and doesn't pass down to the needy. Next time, just donate to the church, Midtown, Downtown, that's providing free lunch to the homeless. Have a great week, y'all. Or, you know, if they choose to pay it forward, they can choose to pay it forward however they choose to do so. I think you're just salty you weren't there to have it paid forward for you. And our final one is from Kenny Draws. Would I be an ass for kicking my friend out of my room? So I live on campus in college and a first year, and my friend can't afford accommodation, so he sleeps on my floor. The thing is, I have no privacy and I'm starting to find it annoying. He also cooks and destroys my kitchen and told the other lads that it's not his kitchen so he doesn't need to clean up. I'm thinking of kicking him out. No hard feelings or anything, but I'm paying 6k a year for accommodation and I'd like my privacy. Am I an ass? Nope, you're not an ass one bit. The friend that's staying there most likely free of charge and refusing to clean up after themselves is the ass, and I would kick him to the curb ASAP. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.